Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we are seeing the flare that occurred. I've been, I've been waiting for this for about two days now. This activity is the last high potential area that I was well expecting, anticipating. And this is due to it initiated because of the positive leading region of the 3296 region. And you can see that right here had a reaction. In that reaction, it caused a fluctuation that disturbed the loops between 3296 and finally, <laughs> and 3297. In doing so, our most significant flare is not, in fact, 3296, but 3294. <laughs> and the beauty of this is the event disturbed the loops between these two northern regions, and in doing so, impacted multiple loops because as i was saying they were weaved together uh, two days ago i was talking about it. it's like these loops are strongly weaved together they're they're intricately balanced and all it takes is a little bit of disturbance and we're going to see an escalation and it's going to reach out to multiple regions and in fact it did a little more so than i actually anticipated but nonetheless um the flare is not as significant as it could have been but the activity overall the plasma being ejected the plasma movement between all three regions we definitely have now I've verified one ICME for sure. There are three CMEs overall. Uh, one does look like it comes back down to the sun, and I'm not sure about the other one yet. But as of right now, we have this M1.8 that occurred at region 3294 because of an incident that occurred in 3296 that caused an incident in 3297 causing that M flare in 3294. And that's what happens when these loops weave together and cause this complex connection. And uh, we end up having these events occur due to the situation. So this escalation is all due to that constant change that 3296 had. And in that, these loops kept building and building and, and, and weaving together and finding that intricate balance to maintain, but that could only hold so long. So once that you know, no longer was maintainable, then we see this. Now, it's going to be a little time before we can actually measure this, this activity, but what I can tell you right now is most of this plasma is going westward. Preliminary is right now that I do believe we will see a glancing impact uh, at the least. So it may be a little more than that, but right now what I can tell is it looks like there's going to be a glancing impact at the least. There is a chance of a proton event from this, but we do not know for that for sure yet. So that's something to keep an eye on. And the activity between this did clear up a lot of those loops between 3296 and 3297. So that escalation is now diminished. As such, a lot of that potential that I had for these trio of regions, and originally the trio of regions is 3297, which has diminished immensely due to the restructuring of 3296, or 3293 rather, sorry, <laughs> has diminished greatly due to the restructuring of 3296 and 3296 and 3297. 3296 being the instigator of most of it being a reverse region where the negative leading had to reshape itself where upon coming into view on the sun developed into a, and I'll pull up, uh, I'm working on a video that I'll eventually put out mostly just for beauty and observation and further analysis so it's not going to be really an update video but i will be planning on putting out a video that uh, covers the entire journey of 3293 3296 and 3297 across the earth facing disc and i was going to put it out today but seeing this event finally escalate that i've been waiting for this is the last event uh, that i have actually called and said that i expect this <laughs> so all the events i have i have expected have happened now so uh, I don't currently have any more at the moment that I, I actually fully expect. It's very difficult to expect something from the sun, and as, uh, expectation is just something the sun doesn't like to give. Uh, it, it shows potential, but you never really know if it's going to happen or not. And the timing is, if not impossible, very near impossible to predict. So as I said, for about two days, I've been waiting for these loops to react, and it finally happened. But anyhow... Uh, that said, let's take a look at 171 
and here's a quick uh, explanation of 171 is and show you exactly uh, what my updates I hope to eventually preclude to and eventually have more definition and understanding of my updates without having to explain everything uh, to those who have heard it a million times but still have the information there for those who don't know and I'll talk more just about the events itself but we see the uh, solar activity ongoing here now this right here is <laughs> this right here what we see is 3290 and uh, where's my oh, I don't have one on here well 3297 uh, is the tail 3296 is in the center and 3294 uh, uh, 7 rather uh, 3 3293 is the leading <laughs> and uh, we can see as it goes through it keeps continuing to escalate and this goes up to the 10th so we don't get to see the event that just occurred but we see as that positive region developed and then that positive region forms and pushes to the leading edge pushing the negative leading back that's when we start getting that rapid activity of where the event occurs uh, building up building up and that's what led to what my expectation was for this particular event to where I was waiting for this event to occur because it no longer was stable it was an expectation because it could no longer maintain that with how 3296 has changed. So here it is. This is that event. <laughs> I know that's a lot uh, to say at once, but uh, yeah, definitely a beautiful event overall. And something that, uh, that is the last expected or anticipated event that I've had from these regions to this point. So I'll do further analysis post this event does look like we have an ICME that is going to be at least glancing. There is one CME that looks like it goes back down to the Earth, or Sun rather, <laughs> apologies. And there's another, a third event, uh, corona mass ejection, that I do not fully have an analysis of yet because it is post. So all three are happening almost repetitiously, but it's going to take time before SOHO and Stereo Ahead have that imagery out as it travels beyond that uh, perimeter of the Sun. And gives us a view of where that true projection and speed of it is going so once that imagery comes out I'll be able to decipher it more and see when that's going to happen and I'll do that today uh, on the live so I'll have more information about this activity later so that's uh, that's the update <laughs> cheers and science on